Working on Photoshop, quite often you can do a lot with a mouse, but you'll soon realize that your hand doing this is not the best way to actually draw. Think when you're at school doing art, you take a pen and actually draw it's a fluid movement. And there's an easy way around this, you buy a graphics tablet and you plug it into your computer and you use a little stylus and you're away. Now, some of you might look at this and go £300 or $300, that's nothing, I'd go and buy one, but quite a few of you will think that you're a student, money's a bit tight, you can't quite afford that. There is a workaround. Um, it's not as good as a graphics tablet, but it's a good stopgap, and use something you've probably got lying around already, which is tablets. Um, this one is an Android tablet, it's quite an old one. It's a Galaxy Note 10.1, the first version. And you pick this up on eBay for about £65. So if you want a value tablet that's going to cost you hardly anything, yet do a lot for your university work, um, I would recommend one of these guys. It's actually running um, quite a good version of Android. Anyhow, what you do is you go and get Virtual Tablet Lite. Um, this version is free, which is great. It has some ads in, but you can easily overlook them. If you want to pair... If you like it a lot, you can buy the um, paid-for version at £2.30, which is a massive amount, less than a pint of beer. But uh, yeah, you install it onto your tablet. As you see here, um, it is working absolutely fine. So I'm going to try and um, show this to you. It's got some weird apps running. So there you are, little tablet. It's running there. And then you go onto the website which is sunnysidesoft.com, and you download the server for your computer. So what you do is you run the server, as we have here, on your computer, PC or Mac, and run the app on your tablet. Make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network. If you're in the university, Eduro probably won't allow you to do this, but give it a go, it might work. But definitely works here and in my own house, and everything's fine. So that's running. So, um, I'm going to have just drawn this. So when I'm drawing, it'll just try and see if I can... I've got a stylus pen here. When the pen's hovering above, okay, you can see that the cursor is moving. As soon as I put my stylus to the board, it's very hard doing it in reverse. Yeah then we see things moving there. So I'm painting this fuchsia color on the screen. Now the reason why I say the Galaxy Note is a fantastic tablet for this, better than an iPad, is because the Note comes with stylus built in. Now, unlike the iPad, the iPad has stylus you can buy, but they work on contact only. The Samsung Galaxy Note series, they work on having magnetic field just below the the screen and the pen interacts with that field so you can actually can get this effect where if you don't even see this I am moving the pen just in front of the screen not touching just moving it there and the cursor is moving then when I put it down it paints so actually it's quite a natural movement and also you've got a little, um, little button on the side there so if I go and place right click, I can choose the size of my brush and the hardness, quite nice. If I um, go up here, I can do other things, I can interact with like a right click. So that's quite a useful thing that you don't get with a iPad. So it's a great option for interacting with life. Now I'm going to be making some tutorials soon using um, graphics pens for Photoshop which is just really the cool extra stuff that you're going to use maybe in the third year of your degree at like the business project level. So if you want to engage with these as well, it's probably best to use a stylus with a graphic tablet or tablet um, with running the app, but you can run with mouse as well. So don't feel you have to have this, but if you've got a tablet lying around, give it a go.